What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing an Evo Light Scyther team that also features Fluttermane and Great Tusk. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button and help me push 20,000 subscribers. We're this close, this close to getting 20,000 subscribers. So again, if you guys are not subscribed, definitely consider getting on top of that. But before we get started here with today's team preview, got to give a huge shout out to my boy Joshua. Thank you so much for making this team and sending, sending it to me over on Twitter. Cannot wait to use it and grab some wins with it. Fluttermane is going to be our first Pokemon to get us started here in the team preview. It's got Protosynthesis and a Booster Energy as item and ability. Dazzling Gleam, Shadow Ball, Icy Wind for a bit of Speed Control, and Protect for its final move. Great Tusk, second Pokemon, and I love this move set on this Pokemon. It's got the Assault Vest with Protosynthesis, and then it's got EQ, Close Combat, Knock Off, and Ice Spinner. Loving that move set. You can do big damage. You can get rid of items. You can get rid of trains. It's just amazing all around. Hydreigon is going to be our third Pokemon. And as of Series 2, Hydreigon has really fallen off the meta. Because it was so meta in uh, Series 1. But since Series 2 came and all the Paradox Pokemon, it fell off a little bit. But this Pokemon, still very strong. Can still do a lot of damage. This one has Levitate and a Scope Lens as item. Dark Pulse, Draco Meteor, Focus Energy to help us boost those critical hit ratios. And last but not least, it has Protect. Tauros is going to be our fourth Pokemon. This is the Fire and Fighting one with Intimidate and the Mirror Herb. It's got Raging Bull, Close Combat, Will-O-Wisp, and last but not least, it is Rock and Protect. We got Raichu for a little bit of Fake Out Control for our team with Lightning Rod and Focus Sash. Fake Out like we already mentioned, and then Thunderbolt, Encore, and Protect. Love Raichu all around. Think it's a great Pokemon to help other Pokemon set up. And it's just solid for any team. Evo Light Scyther is going to be our last Pokemon. This one has Technician, and more importantly, it has Tailwind as its move. So it can be able to outbulk some shots, set up Tailwind, and grant speed control for the team. It also has Trailblaze and Aerial Ace and Protect for its final move. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, rent the code is at the top right-hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Evo Light Scyther team. First match coming at you guys, going up against a Don Dozo and Tatsugiri team. This team seems like it's going to be a problem, but we're also going up against a... What is that? A Fluttermane and Delibird team. Two great Pokemon, two great Paradox forms with King Gambit and Glamora. So I feel like since they have Don Dozo, we're going to have to bring my Mirror Herb Pokemon. We definitely need him to get ripping in here. Try to get some damage off with him. We do have Rage Bull. We have will o -Wisp, which could be good. But we can mirror the stats, which could be really big for us. So I'm all about it. I'm definitely all about it. So who should I go into here and how should I play it for the lead? I feel like Delibird's definitely going to come in here for a lead. So I want to bring my Fluttermane. And I kind of want to bring in Raichu. What do I bring in for Tailwind Control? Tailwind Control could be good, but Raichu's also really solid here. I don't mind my Raichu. So, you know, I'm going to go Raichu. I'm going to go Fluttermane. We're going to bring Tauros. And last but not least, I feel like Tusk could be good. Tusk could definitely get some work done, but the problem is Don Dozo. It's a problem. I can always focus energy with Hydreigon and kind of get ripping with that. So, I'm kind of with that. You know, I'm going to go Hydreigon here. I'm going to go Hydreigon. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But yeah, that's something I just realized too. When going up against Don Dozo and Tatsukiri, I could focus energy. Crit will hit through the defensive boost. So if I can get off that focus energy and get some crits going, that could be really good on my end. Definitely could be really good on my end. Especially because Hydreigon's special attacking and uh, Don Dozo's special defense is it's lower than his regular defense. So I like it. I dig it. I dig it. He's going to end up lead. Oh, no. We don't like this one bit. Uh, Obviously, we have to fake out the Don Dozo. I mean, Dantos has got to protect here, right? It's got to protect. This is terrible. I mean, I definitely want Shadow Ball. I know I'm faster than that. And, you know, I'm just going to fake out Dantos, though. I mean, it's just... He's probably going to protect, but still. He's either protecting or swapping the Flutter main. I, I really wonder what he's doing. Because a lot of people play mind games with Dantos, right? just seems like to play. Don Dozo is so tough to play up against. So we're going to do this. And we'll see what he wants to do from here. We shall see what he wants to do. And he's just going to Terrasilize. Who are you Terrasilizing? The Fluttermane probably? Just so I don't Shadow Ball it? It's a smart play because now I'm probably going to get Shadow Balled on my own. Okay. Smart play by him. Maybe I should Terrasilize as well. That's a really good Terrasilize. But it shows he's not swapping Don Dozo. Think how comes in here. We chip up a little bit of damage. We're going to make it flinch. Shadow Ball is going to fly. And I think they just Shadow Ball me and take me out. Kind of sucks, right? Some solid damage, but still. Nope, he ends up gleaming. Okay, I can deal with gleam. 
I can deal with the clean. You guys should be able to swim. Good. Good again. Okay, so nice little soaks there. Lose some HP to Life Orb. And uh, those are flinches. I'm cool with that. It's going to show that it's leftovers as well. Uh, I think I just start Thunderbolting down. If I get off a Thunderbolt shot, that could be big time for us. If I Shadow Ball on that, I could Terrasalize and see if Gleam could KO. Which it probably would, right? It probably would. I might end up doing that. Because I don't think Shadow Ball KOs. I think, yeah, Gleam would KO if we Terrasalize. You know, I'm gonna, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to Terrasalize. I'm going to pop that. And I'm just going to Thunderbolt this lot. Because I don't think he swaps a Fluttermane here. I do not think he swaps Fluttermane. No, he does not. So that's a perfect play for us. We're going to be able to get rid of the Fluttermane. That's fine. We're not trying to deal or take more damage from this thing. That's cool. So Fluttermane gone. Fluttermane gone. We'll chip up some nice damage onto Dime Dozo here as well. And then Thunderbolt can also fly and chip up some nice damage onto Dime. Or you just protect that. That's actually very smart. This is very smart. But Gleam's still going to fly. And Thunderbolt's also going to come across the board. So we can do some nice damage to Dime Dozo. Oh, it has no defense boost and all that good stuff. There we go. Drop a nice little Gleam. Solid damage. Can we get a parry here or something? Give me something good. Or just get a crit. That works. That works, Raichu. That works. That works, my man. My man, Raichu. My man, Raichu. Big time damage. Big time damage. So, Fluttermane is really a Pokemon that we're going to be worrying about here. Again, we outspeed it unless he goes into like Deli Bird with Booster Energy. Look, a Lemur is going to come out here. That's fine. We outspeed that. And it has no first time priority. So, I'm just going to Gleam again. Again, Gleam will finish that off. And I guess we'll just Thunderbolt to Glamora because I know Gleam finishes off the uh, Fluttermane. Solid, solid turns from us. Getting rid of that Don Dozo like that. Now having a chance to get rid of the Fluttermane and their Terrasalization. That is huge. That is huge. But Gleam's going to fly again. This takes out Fluttermane. No problem. Alright, okay. I, I, I can deal with that. Considering it's Orb, it won't get another turn. We didn't take it out. That sucks. But again, we can deal with that. I was just sitting there. It takes it out. No problem. It really didn't take that thing out. Come on now. Come on, man. That ain't right. That ain't that ain't right. That ain't right. That is not right. It's all good. We have the Tauros chilling here. I wonder who he has for the final Pokemon. Is it the Tasugiri? I would kind of want it to be the Tasugiri. Right? I would kind of want it to be the Tasugiri. This thing's just mortal spinning trying to poison me. I love Glamour. I think it's such a cool Pokemon. But from here, we have the Hydreigon. We have the Tauros. And who are you going into? It's a real question. Is it the gummy? It is the gummy. Okay, so the gummy's kind of scary. It has Draco Meteor. And I think it outspeeds me. That is a scary little Pokemon. Um, hmm. I can't Terrasalize, which is a problem. Definitely a big time problem. Uh, ooh, what do I do here? I think I just protect you, right? I think I just protect you. I feel like the the the, the Tasugiri has to be going for like a Draco meter, right? Oh no! Ruined my whole plan. I should have close combat that thing. Did we end up protecting here. It's gotta be going for Dracos. This is scary, because he protected my shot. And I protected his shot. Oh, this battle's coming down the wire. This match is coming down the wire. Um, hmm. Gotta go for close combat. And I, I gotta go for the Draco meter. I'm almost positive our Hydreigon does not outspeed. Let me see your speed. Hey, you're not outspeeding. And you are not eating up a Draco meter. So we gotta hope for the best. Hope that we get a dodge here, right? We gotta avoid the attack. Oh my god, RNG! <laughs> RNG might have won us out. Actually, I think we won that match regardless, right? That would have been close. That would have been real close because my, my defense would have been down on Tauros.
Glamour would have been dead. It would have been a 1v1. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, do me a favor. Head to the comment section down below. Let me know if you guys think I would have won match number one if that Tasugiri did land that Draco Meteor. Because that Draco Meteor would have came in there, taken out my Hydreigon. I would have taken out Glamora. My defense would have been down because of close combat. Their special attack would have been down because of Draco Meteor. And it would have been a 1v1 situation with speed on their side. So let me know what you guys think of that one. But we're hopping into our second match. We'll take that RNG match number one. We're going up against a Cyclozar team with Belly Belly Bolt, uh, Mimikyu, Garchomp, Salamence, and Storm Drain Gaston. So double dragon makes me 100% have to bring. Actually, that's triple dragon. Cyclozar's dragon type 2. Makes me have to bring Fluttermane. I have to bring Fluttermane. So Fluttermane might even lead you. Or I might save it for the back end. You might be a, more so of a back end Pokemon. But you know what? I'm going to go Tusk. And I'm going to go Scyther here. I'm going to try to set up Tailwind. We're going to try to get Ripping with Scyther here. And just start popping free EQs, right? Your speed's not too bad either. So I'm all about just going into those two. So I'm with those two. Again, Fluttermane's got to be that Pokemon. And then last but not least, I could go Intimidate Bull. But I feel like a Pokemon more so like Hydreigon would be good. But again, if we're going up against a Dragon, they're gonna be able to rip me. Unless I save Terra for that. Unless I save Terra. So you know, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna bring my boy Hydreigon. We're definitely gonna bring in my boy Hydreigon. He was dodging Draco Meteors left and right last turn. But that's so funny. RNG finally works on my side. I was sitting there, I was like, I think the only way we win this <laughs> is if my boy dodges the uh Draco Meteor. Comes in, dodges, I was like, yo, let's go. In my head, I'm like, yeah! Like party's going on. <laughs> They end up leading, leading the Cyclozar alongside with the Mimi Mimikyu. And Mimikyu could be popping Shurken, but. Um. Could also Shed Tail here. I mean, this seems like we shouldn't Terrasize. We just pop a free EQ. And we just Tail in, or do I just like Trailblaze here? Because I think you're faster than. I feel like you're faster than the. Uh, yeah, you're faster than the. Uh, the tusk. So I feel like if I can, I can just go for a trailblaze here, get a speed boost, and knock off the uh, the skies at the same time. That's fine. So he goes for a shed tail. I'm chilling with that. I think Salamence actually might come out here, which would be a little bit of a problem because it dodges the EQ. But I do have Ice Spinner to kind of get ripping with that. And Intimidate would come with the Salamence as well. But we'll see who he wants to go into. Anybody but the Salamence would be best for us. But it's gonna definitely gonna be Salamence. It's about what are you doing with Belly Boy? I just get a free. I just get to take off free substitute but trailblaze coming in high here we're not going to set up tailwind just yet and the reason i don't want to is because mimikyu could possibly set up a free tricker it's it's definitely an option for it it's definitely an option for it eq now flies we're going to get rid of the shed tail and we're going to deal some damage on the mimikyu nice 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 that should fade the, the substitute right yeah it's cool we pretty much wasted shed tail that's huge and what's mimikyu going for there's the tricker that is one of the reasons i did not want to go in so I'm sitting here, EQ is still free. I mean, I, I gotta pop it. I could also Terrasilize because a player up could do some work here. And I feel like Terrasilize is going to be the player. So I'm just gonna Terrasilize. I feel like it's a free EQ. And from here, might as well just protect you, right? I mean, I could swap you, but into Hydreigon would be the only option. I get down with that. I, and you know, I'm just gonna protect him. Should protect him, boy. His belly bolt chances are he's gonna try to drop like a, a like a parabolic charge or something into my scyther slot. We'll see what he wants to do. They could also have terrestrialization on belly bolt to make it flying, but they would their terror would have came out first. So I'm, I'm down with just popping this. I'm down with popping this. They're not swapping. They're not terrestrialization. This seems like a free double KO for me. It seems free. And the reason I wanted to swap typings there was because Mimikyu's obviously fairy. He can do some fairy damage on the meme, pick up some KOs. But Muddy Water's gonna fly instead with Belly Belly Bull. Belly Belly Bull's dropping Muddy Water. And Tusk dodges! Let's go. That's big time. And there's the fairy move. That's exactly why I want to dodge. And here's just a free double KO. Free easy double KO. They have Shed Tail, what's it called in the back end? Shed Tail Cycles are, which is pretty much GG game over. That thing's not gonna do anything crazy. He already wastes his turns with Shed Tail. And we just had a perfect lead for this one. Yo, Scyther looks sick. I love Scyther. Even from Gen 1, it always looked like its own Pokemon. Then give it two evolutions. I feel like Scyther on its own just always looks cool. He looks so sick. Scyther looks sick. Scizor looks sick. And Cleaver looks amazing as well. I cannot wait for Cleaver to come into the competitive scene. Because I know, I think DLC, or they're eventually gonna, going to be adding them into the game. All the Hisuian forms. So that's going to be dope. But Cyclozar comes back out here. 
Chomsky comes out here. And they're in Trick Room. I mean, my Tusk outspeeds. I like that, so I'm just going to do that. And on top of that, you know, just Aerial Ace. Chip up a little bit of damage on the Guard Chomp, but I feel like they just cancel battle here. Just seems, this just seems like GG. Because what I can do is just bring out Fluttermane to end this game. <laughs> like Fluttermane, I still have Fluttermane, which, which is just super effective on the both, which is great. But EQ comes out flying. Psychazart, get on out of here. Don't need you here. Psychazart going. And this thing's gonna pop a rock slide. Are we dodging again? Tusk dodges. Should be able to eat that Scyther. You live on three. Yo, RNG's my friend today. RNG's my friend today. Aerial Ace gonna cut come out here and they get a free sash all right so that's cancel out here and no my sweep's gone rough skin doing me dirty rough skin doing me dirty it's all good they pop trick room and it help it's helping me but i'm just gonna go on flutter main here our opponent's gonna see this one and cancel it he's gonna be like all right i'm out of here <laughs> this was a waste of my time but yo light work light work here match number two we dominate we get out scyther here it's too easy it's too easy oh wait i hit i hit run i almost just ran that battle i almost just ran that battle that could have been terrible. That could have been terrible. That would have been awful. That would have been awful. But they canceled battle. It's all good. We grab ourselves this win. We're 2 0 for today's video. Third and final match coming at you guys. Let's grab ourselves perfect record. Going up against Scizor, Scyther's older brother, right here. Alongside with Deli Bird, Dragon Pool, Great Tusk, Amoogus, and Grim Snarl. Uh, Grim Snarl could definitely set up screens. That is definitely a scary little Pokemon. Maybe I should lead Fluttermane and just get after the match. They also have Scissor. Scissor's a problem. It's definitely a problem, which makes me want to bring in Tauros. I think Tauros could definitely be good for us. So, who should I lead here? Who should I lead? I feel like I got to bring in, get some speed going. We're, we definitely want some Tailwind action. So, I am going to go Scyther here. I am going to also go... I want to go Fluttermane so bad, but if they bring Scissor, that's a problem. But I'm going to go Fluttermane. I'm going to bring Tauros to the back end. I can always swap Fluttermane for Tauros if Scissor is there. And we can kind of get after the match that way. And then last but not least, could go Tusk. With that vest, I feel like it just ha just has so much variety with it. It is definitely our best option. So I'm gonna go Tusk here. We're gonna lock it in. We're gonna lock it down. It's perfect record time. Hopefully, it's perfect record time. Hopefully, it's perfect record time. But I wonder who they're gonna lead. I hoping it's not Scissor, but every time I say I hope it's not, it always is. So I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. Even though Scissor looks insanely cool, and I would love to see like Scissor and Insight on the, on this on the field at the same time. Really, really cool. But Scyther's doing actually really good. He did solid in that last battle. They go Pult and Tusk. Really good for my Fluttermane. Really good for my Fluttermane. Really, really good for my Fluttermane. Super effective on the both. This just seems like an easy Terra. Um, I feel like we also go into a Tailwind and we try to get a little bit of speed control for a team. And we just rip this thing with a Gleam. Terrasalize Gleam. Don't overthink it. One of them's going to Terrasalize. Other might swap. Both might swap. If they both don't do anything, it's just wiping the floor with them. <laughs> it's just that. But we end up terrestrializing here. I would be super surprised if none of them terrestrialize. That'd be very odd. But I'm getting my straight fairy typing just to boost my damage. And yes, one of them is going to terrestrialize. Is it the pull? It's got to be the pull. Actually, I can see it being the tusk too. It's going to be the pull. Pull into steel. Please don't have Terror Blast. Please, Lord, thank you. No Terror Blast allowed. No Blast and Terrors allowed. This could be a problem. This could be a problem. This could be what they call a problem. This could be a problem. That's a great play by our opponent. All day. Amazing play. Link comes out here, chipping up a little bit of damage. Ripping me with Shadow Ball. I, I can eat a Shadow Ball. I can eat a Shadow Ball. My special defense drops. Hurts a little bit, but Tailwind is here. Tailwind is here. So the thing is here, if they have Scissor in the back end, they would swap it in with the Great Tusk. Um, I'm just going to protect my Scyther here, and I'm just going to try... Oh, do I Icy Wind? I could Shadow Ball you. What do we think? Tusk got a swap here. I'm going to Shadow Ball the Dragon Pulse slot. I feel like he had to bring Scissor. Yeah, Tusk does swap here. And he should go into Scissor, correct? Yeah, Scissor comes out here. He might even protect the pole here just so he can get off a, a full punch next turn. I just protect my Scyther, keeping it cool, keeping it calm here. But the thing is, we have Tailwind set up, and the big part about this is I can just rip with my uh, 
That's my what's called. Oh, wow. If we double down there, that could have been KO City. But I could just rip up my great tusk after this, which is good. My lovely little tusk. Did I bring... I don't think I brought tusk, actually. Hold up. Did I bring tusky poo? Did I bring my tusk? I did bring my tusk. Okay, cool. It's actually, intimidate works even better. You work even better. I got. I gotta go into. I gotta go into Tauros. Gotta go into the Tauros. Gotta go into Tauros. Intimidate coming out of here. He's gonna be clear bodying. Um, things clear on me as well. Wow. Aerial Ace. I want to see if Aerial Ace can KO. That's gonna be kind of close. And then it just seems like we just gotta go into Raging Bolt into the Scissor slot. Scissor ends up protecting. Sucks, man. Go ahead, Scyther. Pick up the KO. Come on, Scythe. I need you. Pick up the KO. Scyther! My dog! Yo, Scyther coming in hot. Loving that. That's a big time KO. Because if we didn't KO that Dragon Ball, that would have sucked. But now he has no Terra. Um, I wonder who he brings out here. I could have also hard swap, but we still have the Tusk in the back end. Scyther's doing great. And Scyther, look, I, I never realized how cool Scyther actually looks. I don't know why. I see it all the time. I saw it in Legends Arceus roaming around. I saw it in the past game. But in this game, Scyther looks, just looks really good. But I'm just going to Trailblaze here. It's super effective onto that. They have no Terra. I could also Will-O-Wisp because they could swap into one of their Pokemon. Into their final Pokemon, which has to be Delibird, right? Or Amoongus. I'm going to will o -Wisp. I feel like Caesar swaps. No, he goes for a straight pull punch. That's fine. That's fine. I can hit that thing next to him. Wow, I could just KO'd it. I think I'm overthinking here. We got off a nice lovely Trailblaze here. Chipping up some damage. Taurus out speeds. Can we land with Lewis? Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I think he just goes for an EQ, but I feel like we can eat up the EQ now. Actually, no way. Probably a headlong rush, maybe, to try to take out my Taurus. Yep. Can you eat that? You can. Thank you, Burn. Thank you, Burn. So now your defense is down. I'll Trailblaze. Um, we should be able to eat up a Bullet Punch as well. I think we're thriving here. Might even protect again. Do we think he protect? He's probably going to protect again. Should have just ripped on it last turn. Their Tailwind's gone. Um, I could set up another one. I think we set up another one, and I might just want to protect. And the reason I, I want to just protect is because Scissor might protect. So. Scissor might protect here. Yep, there it is. Cool. Dope. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. The Scissor protects. We get back up Tailwind. I'm definitely Raging Bull in that slot next turn. And we'll trailblaze. And we'll just trailblaze. Because eventually Scyther can take out. In two two more shots, Scyther can get rid of the uh, Tush, no problem. Because the fence is down. And if he stays in with Scissor here, we just can. And I'm not worried too worried about the Great Tusk now that its uh, defense has dropped very low. Actually, Aerial Ace would do more. Right? 50, 60, and stab? Yeah, Aerial Ace does more. What am I doing? We'll go there. We'll go into a Raging Bull. Turns into fire. And we'll be thriving here. So, Bull Punch comes into Scyther. Scyther's able to soak in the problem. Aerial Ace coming in hot here. Just KOing, yo. Scyther! Scyther! Doing better than Scissor here in match number three. Raging Bull comes out here. Scissor, get on out of here. That pretty much wraps up the match, right? That wraps up the match. Because I think Deli Deli Bird's the final Pokemon, right? Or it's Amoongus. I feel like it's Amoongus now that he hasn't swapped, right? It is it is Deli Deli. So Deli Deli Bird comes out here. I'm actually a little scared of Deli Deli Bird. I'm actually very scared of Deli Deli Bird. But if he does kill my Scyther... Actually, we might outspeed it here. I know it's speed's heightened. But if he doesn't kill my Scyther, we get off a nice little trail, boys. Then we get the close combat here as well. So two moves coming in hot here. Gonna do some big damage onto him all around. And then again, we still have Tusk in the back end, which is great. But we outspeed. Trailblaze coming in hot here. Doing half. Can you outspeed? Bull. Bull, can you outspeed? Finish the smash up? You do not. But Hydro Pump comes in here. That is going to take out Taurus. It's all good. We have another Trailblaze ready to go. They have no first turn priority moves. And your boy grabbed you guys a 3-0 record with Scyther. That's really cool. That's really cool. Because I didn't just like use Scyther for Tailwinds. I'm legit using them to pick up KOs here. He's KOing bundles and tusk. Getting some work done, setting up uh, speed control, all that good stuff. It's amazing. It's amazing. But I'm just going to go into close combat. I'm going into a trailblaze. Iron Bundle ends up protecting. I think he wants to. I think his only option here is to uh, double protect, waste out Tailwind. I think that's definitely his only option. And at that point, I think Scyther might outspeed still. 
Actually, probably not. Actually, probably. It's, what is it? Plus two, plus three? You're plus two. You're plus two. Tailwind's gone now. You have no double hitting moves besides Icy Wind. And this match is over. This match is over. Why am I overthinking it? A lot of Scyther can't actually KO. I know Tusk can. Scyther just did half, but we, if we get a low roll, that'd be bad. Uh, it don't even matter. We outspeed. Thank you, Trailblaze. Scyther being OP right now. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 3-0. A lovely, perfect record for today's video. That is how it's done, ladies and gentlemen. A 3-0 perfect record with an Evo Light Scyther team. Scyther absolutely rocked out in today's video. Popping some Talons, getting some big damage off of Aerial Aces and Trailblazers. And we also had Fluttermane, Great Tusk, Tauros, Hajigon, and Raichu all doing work on their own. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive every day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.